Many people have flown on an airplane at some point in their lives. It can be a great feeling when the flight goes smoothly. However, sometimes your flight may encounter turbulence. Turbulence can be minor, or really bad, or even downright scary. You may have wondered, why exactly do planes encounter turbulence? Well, I'm glad you clicked on this video. In today's STEM adventure, we will explore what air turbulence is and several common types of turbulence. Before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, and if you like my content, make sure to comment below and hit the like button. Now, on to today's topic. So what exactly is air turbulence? According to the National Geographic, air turbulence is a rough air movement that is caused by whirls of airs, called eddies. Turbulence can be caused by many factors like weather fronts, thunderstorms, wind shear, and jet streams. You're probably familiar with thunderstorms, so I'll talk a little bit more about weather fronts, wind shear, and jet streams. A weather front is a boundary between different masses of air. When warm and cold air masses come together at a front, friction can result in rough air movement. Wind shear, according to the NOAA, is the change in wind speed or direction over a specific distance that can cause really rough air. Jet streams are essentially fast moving currents of air that are created due to the differences in air temperature in different parts of the world. So how fast do jet streams move, you may ask? Believe it or not, they can have speeds of over 200 miles per hour. Turbulence may occur around jet streams because of colliding air masses. So now that you've learned more about the factors that may cause turbulence, let's explore some common types of air turbulence. Today we'll talk about four different types of air turbulence. Mechanical, wake, thermal, and clear air turbulence. Mechanical turbulence can happen when objects or structures on the Earth's surface, like trees, hills, mountains, or buildings alter or disrupt airflow. The movement of air near or around these objects can create eddies and turbulence. Wake turbulence occurs when a plane's movement through the air creates eddies that can cause turbulence for other planes nearby. This is why air traffic control often makes planes wait a certain period of time before taking off or landing if another plane has just taken off or landing. Thermal turbulence is caused by rising warm air that interacts with the winds in the atmosphere, usually in the clouds or thunderstorms. Most of the time, airplanes fly over the areas of thermal turbulence, but sometimes airplanes can't avoid it, and the flight can be really bumpy. Clear air turbulence is turbulence through clear air. What do I mean by that? It can look perfectly clear outside. No clouds or storms that would make you think turbulence would occur. It's not visible to you. However, this type of turbulence can be dangerous because it can happen out of nowhere. That's why it is always important to keep your seatbelt on when you fly. To get out of this rough air, pilots will ascend or descend a couple thousand feet. So now you know about some common types of air turbulence. Now. Let's explore some frequently asked questions about air turbulence. Question 1. Does turbulence make planes crash? Turbulence rarely cause plane crashes. According to a 2018 interview with the pilot via Forbes magazine, modern airplanes are designed to withstand a lot of forces, including severe turbulence. Also, there are a lot of tools to predict turbulence so pilots can avoid it. Finally, pilots are well trained to deal with turbulence. Business Insider also noted that turbulence hasn't caused a crash in over 40 years. Question 2. How can you minimize the amount of turbulence you may feel on a flight? Pilots suggest that you sit in the wing section of the aircraft or in the front of the cabin instead of the back of the cabin. Also, there tends to be less turbulence if you fly in the morning. Question 3. Can pilots or air traffic control predict turbulence? Air traffic control can predict weather patterns in jet streams that could cause turbulence. Air traffic control will guide airplanes to a specified route to prevent turbulence from even happening. However, constantly changing wind patterns can cause turbulence on your flight. Now you know all about air turbulence. Thanks for joining me in this major adventure. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like if you like this video. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter too. I'll see you in the next video.